Hello YouTube, it's me, Russ Shaw, out here on the Inner Urban Trail in Everett, Washington, raising the question, is there such thing as a gravitational vortex? And if there is, is this one? I've been cycling for the sake of exercise for some time, and one thing about the place where I live, here in the, the this big blue planet, um, Pacific Northwestern uh, United States. It's not real flat, man. It is uh, very hilly. I live in hilly country. And so <laughs> trying to pedal uh, on a flat trajectory is a challenge. And at 53 years old, I start to get real aware of when I'm going uphill and when I'm going downhill. Because <laughs> I can feel that, man. And so this brought on this idea for this video because I experienced something strange, something out of the ordinary, something a little weird, man. This um, is the Interurban Trail. That is the Boeing Freeway at that wall over there. And this pretty clearly dips down, right? Or does it? This direction is north towards my house and it's going uphill, or is it? Okay, so here's some of what I've experienced. This is the manhole cover. That down there, uh, where it hits the bend is Boeing Freeway. It looks like it's downhill. But when I start pedaling from here, am I coasting downhill? No, I'm coming to a stop, see? I have to keep pedaling or I'm gonna stall out. No, I'm not faking this, here we go. Appears like I'm going down the hill. One pump on the pedal. This is how far I can get before I have to stop. Okay, here we go. One good pump on the pedal. And... Again, that's how far I get before I have to stop. Foot down, so do two more pumps and it looks it looks a heck of a like like I'm going downhill but I'm stopping listen I'm a bit of a skeptic myself all right I've seen the Oregon vortex I've seen the mystery spot spots and <laughs> I have questions this is the low point isn't it and what I'm saying is from that pull to this manhole cover, it really feels like you are rolling uphill. This is the part of the video where if you like investigative science, subscribe, hit thumbs up. It's important to me personally. It's a human thing that machines can't do. Just right there. Slight breeze. I'm at a dead stop. One push on the pedal to get me started. Just that. pedaling at all and I'm picking up speed second manhole cover right there. Proving a gravitational vortex, take one.
my people to explain how I'm going to prove this. Okay, so here's my house. Here's Interurban Trail, and there's different uh, like car streets that cross. Beverly Lane is here. I live about a mile from uh, these manhole covers where I'm trying to find the top and the bottom of the hill. And here's the low point. Um, and here's Boeing Freeway, where you have cars going to the big Boeing plant. So here's the feeling that I was trying to explain, the feeling of coasting uphill. So what I was going to do is get a laser and point it that way to prove that the hill is actually sloping down a self-leveling laser used for construction, surveying, that kind of thing. So I got one of these 30 foot self-leveling cross line. Self-leveling, so this is interesting. I'm up early in the morning, by the way. So this thing finds a level on its own. How cool is that? Crosshairs? Would uh, point a direct line. This line in the middle is so that, you know, I know that I'm pointing directly down the path. Uh, and, and so if it is a optical illusion, this is what I should experience. It is putting the laser down, self-leveling again, it will point directly into the ground. Is what I'm experiencing coasting downhill, then that's what we're going to see on the laser. Here's the bend, there's Boeing Freeway, and here's me coasting uphill, here's me coasting downhill. And here's me as a survey guy, right there, and there. It seems to dip down, I don't know. We'll find out. There's, a, there's an old cat keeping watch right there. Here comes our utility cover. Right there. And this is where it seems to be dropping downhill. Well, it seems to me, but you tend to roll uphill. We shall see. Green light means it's level. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Here's the high point, right there. All right, so manhole covers down there. I've moved it up. And now let's see. That seems to be a level. Keep going, keep going. Still looking pretty level. Yep. So this is actually uphill still. <laughs> Look at that. High point. Interesting. It sure dang looks like it's da dipping downhill. Maybe it's just the way this hillside is. I don't know. All right, got the green light again. Pointing it down the hill. There we go. Fun with science. Oh no, it's going the other way.
All right, are we dropping down now? Are we going down the hill? Nope. <laughs> it's not going down the hill. No, it's not. We're going to reach another high point. that you're going downhill. Now I'm going to call the myth busted until I get to the other uh, manhole cover, though. And it's getting dark. Here's our other manhole cover. Okay, this time I'm facing my laser. What I thought was uphill. That's uphill. Could have sworn. About this part like this this surely looks downhill doesn't it again from this marker wow we're already look at that dipping downhill at that trajectory. Remember, this is a self-leveling device. So that right there is level. So yes, as a skeptic, I think I've busted this, but then there's the skeptics to the skeptics who will say, if it's really a gravitational vortex, how do you know what level is? <laughs> so in that sense, it could still be a bit of a mystery, couldn't it? I don't know. Believe what you want to believe. What do you think? Do you believe in a gravitational vortex? Do you think it's all woo-woo? I think there's a scientific explanation for this. Um, but yeah, if you want, you're in the Pacific Northwest, you want to come check it out for yourself. Um, the Interurban Trails here in Everett, Washington, um, down by the Boeing Freeway right there. That's where it's, it's happening. Whatever it is. Uh, again, put comments below if you... Uh, if you believe there is a such thing as a gravitational vortex or is it an optical illusion? I'll let you decide that. And if you're in the area, heck, come experience it for yourself. Subscribe, like this video if you found it entertaining or helpful or infotaining. Uh, my name is Russ Shaw. This is the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Why not? Thanks again. Bye.